Folks, what's going on? Heir of Cafe here. Yes, the Great Salt the Dragon, Dragon has returned with more action from your favorite legendary Grand Cafe campaign. We are still going to take attrition if we kind of just open it up through this desert. The um, Puppets of Misrule did take Shang Yang from the Dissenter Lords, which is actually helpful for me because we need them gone for part of the campaign. So I'll snag one of their settlements here. Um, not a bad way for me to grab it. We're probably just going to have to go to war with them. It's just going to look kind of ugly because I have a lot of agreements with them. When I go and look at them, though, no one's really allied with them. They do have the Ogres as a trade partner. Um, we honestly might as well just cut our ties with these guys and get rid of them because it's going to ultimately be part of the campaign. They don't want to confederate, so they've kind of brought this upon themselves. I'm going to lose I'm gonna lose a little bit of money um, you know, from doing this. But whatever. Um, the Dissenter Lords should have been willing to get on board. Or else, obviously, they're going to get run over. Um, so, yeah, there we go. That'll take care of that. Um, our brother is nearly ready for combat, which I'm excited for. The Iron Dragon is a powerful character who now can regenerate as well. So I'm excited for that. This one gives us extra... Yeah, see, this would be good here because then we could get the Ogre Mercenaries for uh, cheaper. And, like I said, I intend to keep... Such power! Our ogre friends. Oh, looks like they're taking their land back even. Good. So, Greasus has gotten off of his gut and gotten to work. But there are still many enemies, including the Caravan of the Roses there, which is looking very powerful. So, we're going to have to take them out. And take them out, we will. Ready to defend. I will make my father proud. Take attrition in their territory there, even though we've got this building upkeep. This one's just adding growth, okay. Warden of the Great Bastion. I'm going to move forward in an encamped stance with Miao Ying, and I think I'm going a to do a little bit of a adjustments in this nah, I don't want to do any adjustments in this army right now. I don't well I mean I do because I don't feel like these are the right units for this army long term. I really want to trade out those lancers and the sky junk. I don't mind the jade warriors. I'd rather have some celestial dragon guard though in this army. But that's gonna take a long Serve time. Me. Serve the Emperor. Oh there's we can get terracotta sentinels here. That's a big deal. How many Jade Warriors do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we could drop a Jade Warrior out of Terracotta Sentinel. The problem is, is I can't get any of the mobility that I want for now. I have to wait two turns on that Sentinel. That'd be awesome, though, to have a double Sentinel going on. That would be very strong. Especially if the one is inside the range there, the other, well, say that, I don't know exactly how that would work. Um, maybe we should just continue with this army for a little bit until we finish up some buildings that would make this easier. Of course, we may not be back this way anytime soon. Hmm. Child of the Nine. We can build these other buildings here. We could tear this one down. I think we will, in fact. I'm going to put this chain in there. And I think I'm... Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that for now. The Dragon Gate needs to be built up. We'll use our money for that on this turn. Was that the... Hang on. Did I build that at the dra dragon gate? I, I did. That is not what I meant to do. Upkeep cost. Growth. I mean, the, the extra growth is handy. It's going to help us get there faster. The tier 5, but I mean, it's taking forever anyway. Like, I think I'm going to tear this down and put that How other building in here. And then this building, I mean, let's be honest, it's probably not going to do that much difference, so I'm going to tear that one down. I'm going to put some different recruiting buildings along the wall that will help us quickly build up our armies along the wall as needed. I think that would be more useful, ultimately. 
So they are recruiting. Brothers recruiting. Our other armies have moved. Other than some available building upgrades, which I'm not going to make on this particular turn in. I'm going to save a little bit of cash. Do have a commandment available here. I'm going to go ahead and do a... A Yang building here for growth. And then I can adjust that research as we get to it, because we're four turns there. Put our control in here. That'll bring us a lot closer to balance and more quickly. Alright, things are looking good. We're about to head outside of Cathay lands for really the first time, because we've been so focused on trying to unite the entire Cathay front, um, that we're finally going to be able to focus outward. And honestly, I'm looking forward to it. The fight against the puppets of misrule should be entertaining as we sally out into the chaos waste. These guys have a lot of wars they want me to join. I'm sure you do. That'd be very handy, wouldn't it? Poison the fruit and get extra control for only 500 gold. That seems like a good idea. Control is not really a bad thing. All right, so the defenders of the Great Plan are gone. Of the, eight the last settlement's ours. We are in balance nearly. In three turns, we'll be in perfect balance. So that is going to be exciting. Who wants to bet I will ruin it before we get there? <laughs> Celestial ancestors. Does anybody doubt? All right, so the Red Fortress is the capital of the Puppets of Misrule, and I would love to raise it to the ground and then start working my way back, raising other Chaos settlements to the ground until we have somewhat cleared this it trash heap of an area. I could try to settle it, but it's going to be very difficult to do so uh, because it's the uninhabitable climate for us. Um, settling it, of course, could provide us a way to try and ensure that we can defend it a little better, but it takes so long for us to build Off buildings screen, and get growth and everything. It would be a, a real mess. Let's do that. There we go. All right. So I've got some buildings coming up to help with recruitment along the gate. That would give us artillery, standard troops, and dragon troops. So that's a pretty good front of potential recruitment along the gate. As soon as these tigers are ready, we can move on from Hanyu port. I'm super excited. It's going to be really nice. Um, what else do I want to build right now? Need some extra pottery output. Is this building? This one's just growth. Yeah, let's, let's grab the extra pottery output and then we'll save a little bit. Not much we can do there. Could probably go ahead and put in some defense here. This army needs to chase off these raiding beastmen that are costing me some some money each turn. In fact, let's let's move up in an ambush stance so that hopefully they won't see us. We can then hit them, effectively destroy them. All right, the Puppets of Misrule have their new outpost here. You cannot Let me think, if they, if they sally out to attack me, would I be afraid I to face them? I, I don't think so. I can't see what else they have. Got a pretty competent force here, I think. So I'm it's going to offer course. battle to them. By moving up in range, but not within the reinforcement range, I don't think. Yeah, it might be. They might attack me and get reinforcements from the settlement, but the settlement reinforcements are weak. Let's see if they attack me. If they do, hopefully it'll be an opportunity for me to win. So Chen Li is not moved, but that's okay because we're kind of punishing here anyway. Like I said, we could take control of this faction. They're looking for confederation, and that would give me, looks like, five additional settlements. There's a forest here. Can currently contain some wood elves. I think we should probably take the confederation. 
What's up with the Wood Elves here? They're unfriendly. And it looks like we are losing relations, so we could just trash them so they don't attack us. Settling the forest would not be necessary. We could just raise it, and that would count. That would give us a total of six more towards our victory conditions. That's probably what I'll do. I'm going to let that army heal. Um, and I'm going to wait just a hair longer on the confederation, because I don't think that's going to change. All right, let's see. Buildings available. There's plenty of buildings available. Ooh, I really need to save some cash here just in case, because again, we have a lot of armies. We could end up in the negative very quickly. Should the wrong circumstances arise, like we lose some trade partners or something like that. So we don't want to get too crazy with our money. I probably should be keeping even a little more than I have, especially since I don't have the caravans available to me. I mean, I could raise another caravan, but it's just going to be killed. Well, that sucks, because they can move out and attack me in an ambush. Now we're going to have to fight our way through an ambush. This could be bad, so I may have screwed the pooch here. Let's see. All right, we are immediately under attack. Um, some people ask why I don't slow the battles down sometimes, and it's because I can't. Um, because of the difficulty settings. Oh boy, this is a mess. I need some protection in this direction. Yeah, we lost our crane gunners, and we're probably going to lose a fair number of our crossbows right away. These Forsaken of Zanch are going for our artillery, so I'm going to move it back and see if I can... Avoid certain death there. Order and balance. They will perish. Uh, let's go ahead and spin up some help for our troops here. Actually, this one would be better, I think. In celestial light. Wasn't great. Got some work done. Retreat. I don't think Retreat. I can get my crossbows out of that fight very effectively. I don't really want to sacrifice these units either. They need to get up out of that fight. So this was not ideal for me to have to fight this. Um, we're going to take a considerable number of losses here that I would have preferred not to. Alright, come on, get these guys. Get in there. Let's take my lord. Just go ahead and attack here, maybe. Let's see... I don't have much magic available to me at the moment, so let's flip that power stone. We are suffering losses. Looks like their lord is after artillery. Where's the escape point on the battlefield? I should have checked for that first. They've got a giant back here? Either that or it's coming in as reinforcements. I don't know. I can't save some of my crossbows, though. We are going to be hard-pressed to get rid of that giant. So I'm going to try and move this way. I really wish they hadn't been able to... There we go. Let's go back into the woods here. I'm just going to kind of keep running away with these units. Actually, let's run the other way. That'll give us the most time, I think. Okay, I've just got a little bit of Winds of Magic spun up now. i got to be careful with this magic, though. I don't want to hurt my own troops. I think, if anything, I might just protect my units in that fight a little longer. Who's this here? It's Village. I really don't want Village killing my leaders. I'm going to try and get my leaders away from this fight and leave the Halberds there to... Take care of it. So let's get rid of these chaos spawn. Okay, things things are not looking great for us at the moment. I don't know whether we can tank this out or not. I'm going to try and use my crossbows to shred up some of these spawn. We've taken some pretty egregious losses. Losses that we can... Certainly reclaim, should we get the opportunity to. Yeah, 
debuff everything Order in this fight. Village is not supremely powerful in melee, my but is powerful. Let's just run away from that. Okay, I'm trying to pump some shots in here. We are somehow my... Oh, those are Jade Wars. I thought they were Celestial Dragon. And I was like, what? Get screwed. Okay, we're, we're in trouble over here. Just trying to draw that fight out as long as I can draw it out, but... It's now untenable. Okay, our Crane Gunners came back. That's good. Let's use our Crane Gunners to maybe pick at that Giant. And fall back this way. I need to go ahead and start falling back with my crossbows and just kind of throw whatever I can throw over here to hold that fight. Sound the retreat! Celestial Sorcerer! Warrior crossbow! Move as wind! We very well might lose this. Platform. Sound the retreat. Let's maybe Fight try and take out these one. Zinch spawn real quick. Fight as one. Protect Beware. my lord a little longer. I, stand ready. I can debuff all their troops, Again. even though it's going to be a short period of time. Alright, we killed a fair number of those Zinch spawn. Let's crane gun. Put some shots into that giant. Dang it. Everything just routed in that blob from the terror. Yeah, we're going to lose. Um, this might have been winnable had I gotten some better decisions in early. I don't know. I'm going to go unbreakable for a minute. I don't think I have a way to survive long enough to finish this. I'm suffering army losses at the moment, too. Man, I got back on the artillery piece, but there's a Chaos Chariot that came back from routing everybody. It's going to ruin everything. Let's see if we can get just a couple of shots off here. Oh, we're getting wrecked over here. Try to kill off village. Dang it, I just lost my lord anyway. Really frustrating. Stone and steel. Well, that sucks. <laughs> They're gonna have just enough to get through me here. My units were actually holding and probably would have been able to do it had the giant not gotten his terror into that fight, I think. We just got attacked by that chariot and bumped off of our artillery piece, I think. Wind and fire. Why is it? The dragons. It won't let me re-garrison the artillery piece. What is going on? It's like I can see it pop up, but it's not working right. Are all these busted? There it goes. It like wouldn't let me garrison the artillery. That's frustrating. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna lose that one. Yeah, so I think here I made the mistake of not getting my crossbowmen safe early. That should have been my focus, was trying to get them to safety. However, the AI did a pretty good job of jumping on them right away. Um, so, I mean, to their credit. Now, I, again, this was probably a winnable battle. Uh, it was close as it was, and I did a poor job. I, I should have been able to win that. But we probably lose that army in its entirety, and I don't think the Lord was, was uh, mature enough to uh, get the benefit of, like, a, an immortality or anything there. Well, hey, I fed me a nice win there. Yeah, they're. I'm pretty sure they're gone when I'm looking at that upkeep cost. Uh, no, they're not entirely gone. Which means that we might be able to recover this army a little bit quicker than I'd previously thought. Let's see what we have available to us in terms of other lords. We've got a level 6. That is a yen leader, though, and right now we're... That was a Yang leader I think we lost, so it'd be better to have a Yang leader.
This Lord would work right there. Or this one. Let's see, which one's going to be a better trait? Unyielding or bureaucrat? Probably unyielding. Yeah, let's take unyielding. Okay. That army somehow gets away. It was it was an ambush. I didn't think your army could get away. Our leader didn't, and our hero didn't. But some of our troops got away. And if we flee quickly, we might just straight up be able to get this army rebuilt faster. So, like, for instance, if I flee hard and fast through the desert here... I no longer have any agreements with the Dissenter Lords, by the way, because I was feeling quite overconfident at the time. Now, I cannot declare war on the Dissenter Lords without suffering a pretty nasty penalty at the moment. But I can bring Brother up here and get ready to face um, Village. I will feel far more confident with his army, especially with all those Celestial Dragon Guard. Alright, so this army is going to be a do-over. Unfortunately, we had some pretty good traits there. Go ahead and start with buffing our crossbows again, because they're kind of the... the middle of our army. Yikes! Did not expect that setback, but it makes things interesting, right? You know, how are we going to react? How are we going to react and get ourselves built back up? And I'm going to do my best to do so. All right, let's see here. We have a force of chaos here in front of us that is actually in a force march. Bit of a mistake on their part. So this won't be the revenge against the army that we just fought, but it will be some vengeance, and I intend to take it. All right, battle's underway. I'm going to use my balloon to bombard their chaos warriors from a distance. And I'm going to prepare to intercept their forces out front with good old Green Guardian, a.k.a. the Jolly Green Giant. They actually have a bunch of skin wolves out on this flank. Now remember that the ability of the, the Green Guardian is that he can reflect missile shots back um, within a certain radius. So it might not be a bad idea for me to actually try and use him against some of the missile forces since up front I think our infantry will provide plenty of protection. Let me go ahead and convert over to dragon form and then I see a few missiles headed this way so let's go over there and have a little fun. The AI is likely going to want to gain my flank. Little good it will do them though. They're now in crossbow range which means they're going to take uh, absolute savaging. Take this unit of crossbows and finish off that Marauder Horsemaster. And let's uh, let's go use our Green Guardian here and have a little fun. Let's go reflect these guys' shots back into themselves and tell them to stop shooting themselves. I'm going to go attack their leader here as well. And we're going to get some Skin Wolf charges. Otherwise, I feel like our infantry should pretty much just sit still. I'm going to leave one unit of cab over here just as a safety valve. Let's actually charge forward here, and I'm going to bring... Take some hit points off of that leader. Buff up Miao Ying. Get some more magic. Okay, our spell didn't get thrown down there, but I don't think it's much going to matter. I'm going to pop it anyway. We got outflanked by skin wolves, which is not ideal. There and there, we did make them shoot themselves to death up here. That's hilarious. Let's go do it to these guys. They're about to rout anyway. Come on, Jolly Green Giant. Okay, so we got rid of their leader. They're about to completely chain route. So here it comes. Come on, throw your axes at the giant. <laughs> I love... Yes, there it goes. See their axes bouncing right back at them. The wink. It's now going to just full on push all their stuff back at them. Back to the long ships. Back to the long ships indeed. I think their range is slightly better than the range of the giant's missile reflect capability. Yeah, see? <laughs> Stop killing yourself. Stop killing yourself. That's all I can think of when I see that. I love it, man. The green sentinel's fun to use. Can't wait to do some more of that. All right, we can take the army replenishment here since we're outside the walls, and replenishment will be slower to come by. We got pretty good 
cash off of that. So again, hopefully help us make up for not having caravans by snagging some loot from battle. And we're going to need to enter our encamp stance so we can continue to replenish. I'm going to cautiously move closer uh, to the Red Fortress. I don't want to get too close because if they have a bunch of armies there, I want to make it really easy for them to do the same thing to me um, that just happened where we, we lose, which would be really bad. Really bad. Let's see, we were working on Miao Ying's skill trees here. Still need to get to Talons of the Night, which of course would only be able to be cast when she's in her human form. It's fine. Missile Mirror would be cool because I think that kind of gives us the temporary um, Green Sentinel ability, which is pretty neat. It could be useful in very specific situations, so I'll go ahead and take it. Um, let's see. Metal Shifting. Get a Wind Harmony there. Get some Spell Resistance. We're just oh, we'll just finish Specialist and keep going. All right, so yeah, that army can move further, but we're not going to on this turn. And this army was to take out the Beastmen, but the Beastmen got themselves killed. So I'll go ahead and move towards the next army of Beastmen, which is just likely to get themselves killed as well. In a similar manner, I am not going to build any buildings this turn. I'm going to go ahead and save. We're at a plus two balance here. The dragon blooded. And that army is still sitting there kind of on purpose. Dragon These guys are retreating. Sugar. Brothers headed into combat against Village. I think that's all we really need to worry about for this turn in, other than maybe these skill points here. Our Astromancer picks up a skill point. Not much to write home about. We do need some more magic items, though, so I'll put it into scouting. Not going to worry about building. Oh, I forgot. I <laughs> I might have been able to grab Miao Ying some allied units. I should have looked at that. I forget about the outposts sometimes. I don't remember if I have any good ones with the other cafe factions. I had a good outpost with some other folks. Eh, maybe it's a different campaign I'm thinking of. I don't remember. But yeah, those can be really useful in that situation like right there where I had Miao Ying and I couldn't get the units I want. Sometimes you can grab those from an ally. Um, and that is, that is a good way. It's something I should have remembered to take better care of. But to be fair, we have confederated most of the Cathay factions. Which means that, you know, I probably wouldn't have a lot of outposts left unless it was with another faction. Um, again, I don't know why it's handing me the victory here, but Fight sure. Thank you. Later. Nice knowing ya. Okay, we got missions issued. Okay. How's our army doing? So Miao Ying's army is pretty much replenished. And the Red Fortress is within sight. Be nice to burn it to the ground. I don't know if we would ever be able to control these settlements. Effectively. Continue the siege. Am I going to take attrition? Yes, we are. We're going to take attrition if we hold it under siege. I think I'm just going to auto resolve it. And occupy it. For now. Oh my gosh, we get a lot of money from sacking it. That would be fun. I'm going to occupy it for now. At least just so I can replenish. Though we take a huge hit to replenishment the because of the, uh, yeah, it's a minus 15 hit. We'd actually be better off to just have raised it and replenished in the encamp stance. Probably would have been faster. This one brings some extra casualty replenishment. We can undo some of it. But that's also going to sling things back in the wrong direction in terms of balance because this one doesn't provide any of that. Yang two probably wouldn't hurt us to put. I mean, the Red Fortress is a sizable settlement. Could be useful potentially. Do we see whether we can hold it? I mean, is it possible to hold it here? It's another minus three to control, which is already going to be poor because of the difficulty factor. This would actually flip us over, balanced into Yang by one. There's no way to avoid it, though, because if I do... Because my... Yeah, no matter what I 
build here, it's going to flip the balance one way or the other. So we'll just start some research of yin after this turn, and it should be in balance properly a little while after. Or I could just build another one here to counterbalance that one. That makes sense. Let's do that. I build this, eventually when that one's finished, it should be in good shape. Or... No, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me think about this one again. So the research I have going is on Yang. That's going to give me one at the end of this turn, so that's going to push me down to one. I'm going to build this one in one turn, so that'll put me even on the next turn. This one would put me over the line the other direction. This one would take seven turns before it put me over the line. If I put it as this one, it's going to need to be countered with... This one here, but the other one's better because we get a boost to tariffs. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here and just do it like this for now. I'm just gonna do that for now. Okay, all right, that, that'll work for the moment, I hope. I think I've got it sorted out. <laughs> we'll find out pretty soon whether or not I did. All right, Village beat us a turn or two ago. Will it happen again? I don't think so, because they took some pretty egregious losses in that fight. So sometimes a victory isn't all that great whenever it's too costly. And I'm kind of hoping that was the case there. Gotta build that artillery building. What else do we got going on here? Excellent. I think we are looking to be in pretty good shape here. Scoot up and hopefully finish off those beast men. Let's go ahead and save some money for a turn. We have some unassigned skill points for Miao Ying. Storm Shadows. I mean, that speed debuff could be good. This power of Yin, I'm actually going to go ahead and throw that one on, and that should give me enough. Okay. You can build an outpost. Um, with the river lords, I, I actually think I am going to probably go ahead and do that because this could come in handy for grabbing some units quickly if needed. Let's go ahead and construct that. I don't know how long it's going to be there for, but let's go ahead and end our turn. Might not be a bad idea for me to try and be able to get outposts with factions like Kislev or the Empire or something eventually well too because those units could supplement nicely. And again, give me the capability to quickly draw in units from an alliance um, when needed. And that can be, like I said, extremely handy in a campaign. Well, it doesn't look like our loss of that battle is going to end up setting us back too badly, which is good for me. <laughs> Maybe not good for those of you who are hoping to see me fail. Um, but that may still come, you know. Give, give it time. You never know what will happen. Sometimes you just got to believe. We are in so we're still at one on the yin side, and I think it's because of that building that was just completed, and we're researching a yang, and we're building a building that is a yang, so eventually we're going to go another point into yang, but, you know, we'll just let it go, because that's, that's a while in the making, and it's nothing for us to get, you know, really worried about at the moment. Red Fortress is going to have a very difficult time maintaining control. There are buildings that we can use to help improve control, and I might do so as the time comes. They've kind of left themselves open right there at the Dragon's Crossroad. At least it looks like it to me. Might be able to, like... I demand their death. Loot the settlement or raise it or something, see if we can get some quick money. That's auto resolve Earth here. Picked up a nice. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna be worth much, but let's just sack it real quick. We'll take a little bit of extra cash from it. Then we can just pop right back in here at the Dragon Gate, so that's just some extra experience and cash. For very little risk there. So, hashtag worth it. Um, 
should have done this one first. I don't know why I did that one. That was a mistake. I'm actually going to respec here. Because that's not what I want. Alright, respec. And let's go back into the skills. And we're going to do Route Marcher and Reassuring Presence. The Iron Discipline here. And Pressable Quartermaster. There we go. Like that. I was born so that reduces the upkeep cost of this army significantly. Puts me in good financial shape. Okay. All right. So nothing is stopping Praise the Iron Dragon for going for Shang Yang. Let's just scoot up slightly and make sure. But there's nothing to be concerned about at the moment. Their armies have been locally defeated. I have to wait, like, roughly ten turns before we can take the land from the Dissenter Lords. And then they have armies, too, so we'll have to be a little bit careful about that, you know, because we don't want them to get in and around behind us. That should give me plenty of time to kind of get this army ready for action again. It's also part of the reason why our upkeep isn't bad right now. We have some really good capability to recruit here as well. I don't know why I would have any reason to pick the Celestial Bannermen, per se. Let's pin them and just kind of take a look at some of their resilience. Immune to Dragon Emperor's Wrath. Expert Charge Defense, which... Bracing this unit negates the charge bonus. Formation Attack. Charge Reflection. When bracing this unit deals additional damage to attacking charging enemies, that would probably be the same... Yeah, for the Dragon Guards, so that one's no okay. So a defensive stance. This unit gives charge resistance. Enabled if not moving. So if they're not moving, they get an extra 25% charge resistance and 10 armor. Let's just try them. Again, some of these units are new. Let's put some bannermen I will not in this army. I mean, I probably would have been better Cafe off with no of some of these units, but I just want to try something new and different. Just because... Got that rocket battery. Several crossbows. We lost our long rider. Which we can get locally. Serve and honor your ancestors. Tiger, we lost our hero Service here as well, so we're gonna need to replace the hero. Dragon blooded Shugunga. Group hero. Astromancer, and I believe it was an Astromancer that we lost. We might. Oh no no, never mind. Yeah, Celestial let's go. Group hero, so Astromancer, martial artist. This is going to be plus one yin or plus one yang. I guess we could just pull the yang. We know it's going to go out of balance in a few turns anyway. But if I make sure that that defense building is opposite of what I'm building or researching, then we should be good. So let's take the martial artist here, put ourselves into yin yang Custom harmony. Grand Look at that, folks. Fortune harmony achieved, albeit probably... Only a short run. I think I'm doing Yang research. Let's just go make sure I built a Yin. No, oh, okay, so it's Yang defense that's on the way, and I'm doing Yang research. So we need to switch over to Yin research. And then those two should counterbalance each other okay over that period of time. Okay. There we go. Alright, folks. I do need to go ahead and probably confederate with this faction. Uh, that would probably provide me with yet another army. Maybe multiple, depending on what our upkeep cost could do, but at least one. And we could use that army to go against the Caravan of Roses. And um, potentially this army as well. Because I don't think we're going to need to be parked back here. There's just really nothing to be concerned with in this vicinity. Though we probably don't want to get completely unguarded either and allow for any rebellions or other stuff to, to get us. But I also have this army kind of roaming over here. So this army should probably go ahead and start moving west. 
Uh, let's move this army west to King. Okay. There we go. I think that'll be good. Those beastmen turned up elsewhere. Looks like they ran off. They're not really going to be able to accomplish anything no matter where they go. We're making good money. I think we're in good shape overall. Hope you all enjoyed it. Air of Carthage signing out. I'll see you all soon with some more uh, legendary Miao Yang campaign very soon.